Hello class, as we have learned throughout our nursing curriculum, delegation is a complex skill that needs to be developed in one's career in order to provide high quality, safe patient care. Today, we will be discussing delegation and managing personal and personnel problems with a particular emphasis on chemical dependency. Now, let's take a look at what's going on on the floor. Hey, your patient's call light is on. What are you doing with all that medication? Oh, I'm looking for some medications here for my patient. Can you go check on her? And tell me what's wrong, please. Um, I guess, but please hurry up. I have a lot of charting and a blood transfusion. Okay, I will be there shortly. Okay. Girl, guess what? What? I think I just caught Isaac to take some medication. Really? Oh my goodness. You know what? I do notice that she's always late, and when she get here, she's disorganized and all over the place. Yeah, you're right. I had to stay back three hours one night because she was late. And you know, she's always wearing the same uniform. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with that? Yeah, I saw that too. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, what time is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's supposed to be covering my lunch right now. I'm gonna go see if I can find yeah, her. Go find her. Mm -hmm. Girl, I was looking for you to cover my lunch. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. I, no, no, no. All right, let's get you no. to a chair. Okay. I don't feel well. You, what, what, what'd you take? What'd you take? I don't feel well. Oh, oh my God. Okay. I don't feel well. I'm going to take her down to the ER. I don't feel well. Meredith, you're in charge until I come back, all right? Can we have you? Yeah, yeah. We're going to just take her down. Oh, goodness. The primary clue to which a manager should be alert when chemical dependency is suspected is any behavioral change in an employee. These include mood swings, a change from a tidy appearance to an untidy one, an unusual entrance in patient's pain control, frequent changes in shifts or jobs, and an increase in absenteeism and tardiness. Assignment is defined as the transference of both responsibility and accountability of care. This transfer occurs from RN to RN. Hi, I'm charged now, so I'm going to be splitting up my assignments between you and Chelsea. So I'll be giving you Mr. Johnson and Miss J, and I'll be giving Chelsea Mr. Black and Mr. Gray when she gets back from lunch. No, no, and again, no. I'm not taking on any new patients. I already have four patients, three are total care, I haven't charted yet, and I have a new admission from ER. I'm not taking on any other patients. It's not my fault that nurse is all doped up. I understand your concern, but we are in a crunch right now and we need to work as a team. You have a CNA and an LPN under you. They will be able to assist you with anything you need. So, I have Saba and I have Chip. What can they do for me? Delegation is defined as achieving performance of care outcomes for which an individual is responsible and accountable by sharing activities with other individuals who have the appropriate authority to accomplish the work. Delegation involves two people. The delegator, who is the individual with the authority to share activities, and the delegatee, who is the individual who becomes responsible for completing the delegated tasks. The other two components of delegation are work and the transference of authority and responsibility of the work. In delegation, responsibility is transferred, but accountability is not. Accountability remains with the RN. The transference of delegation occurs from RN to unlicensed assistive personnel, or LPNs or LVNs. Well, Chip is an LPN, so he can pass medications, prepare for procedures, carry out some physician orders, you writing them down? 
Yes. Okay. Perform tray care, clean wounds, as well as do wound dressings, and assist with some suturing. Those are just some of his tasks that he can do. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. It seems like he can do almost anything but a physical assessment. Basically. Great. And Saba, well, she's a CNA, so basically she can do vital signs, blood glucose checks, change linens and beds, ADLs, and monitor meals. Well, it seems like I have a lot of help, so I guess I can go tell them about our new assignment. Yes, you can, and if you need any additional help, I'm always here to assist you. Okay. Okay. In order to delegate, the nurse must follow the five rights of delegation. These are right task, meaning that the task is able to be delegated for a specific patient, right circumstances, meaning that the patient setting is appropriate, resources are available, and other relevant factors have been considered, right person, meaning that the right person is delegating to the right person the right task to be completed on the right patient, Right communication, meaning that a clear and concise description of the task has been provided, including its objectives, limits, and expectations. And right supervision, meaning appropriate monitoring, evaluation, intervention as needed, and feedback. <laughs>